D&D and Pathfinder both feature a stealth skill, but if all you ever do in a stealth mission is ask for stealth rolls, then only the rogue will get anything to do. To design a puzzle, you always need to start with what can your players do, and D&D has 18 different skills, so that's at least 18 different ways your players might interact with your puzzles. Animal handling? Maybe the guards have hounds that can be petted. Persuasion. Maybe the guards can be bribed. If you have a druid, they might turn into some tiny animal and crawl into tiny cracks in the wall. If you have a monk, they can be sad because they chose to play a monk. What I see most of the time is people going, how could a noble protect their mansion from someone who can teleport? Because this is a fantasy world where people know that teleportation is a thing. So of course they would create countermeasures. That's just your setting being realistic. But what you need is kind of the opposite approach, which is what are interesting obstacles that someone who can teleport might be able to overcome?